All right, everybody, we're back in the backyard again. And we're just coming in, you know, kind of harvest a few things. Um, I haven't been back here in a minute. And um, <laughs> as last time we picked tomatoes, <laughs> and I'm gonna show y'all something. We got more split tomatoes, they split again. So far we got, she picked us a few herbs, some oregano. What is this? Oh, that's strong. Ooh. That smells good. That's the basil, right? The, the fat leaves? Yeah, the big leaves. Yeah. Oh, wow, that smells good. Eggplant. Got some nicer tomatoes, you know. We, we're not going to keep those. And she picked the peppers. And some string beans. I'm still out here picking things now. What else with that cucumber? Oh, yeah. I just picked this cucumber right here. It's nice and fat. And um, I just want to show y'all the garden right now. So it looks like those, um, you know, I was just I threw those potatoes over there. They didn't come up, at least not yet. They might come up next year. But you see that area right there, and I just see a bunch of weeds in there. So I'm pretty much not gonna do anything with it. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Yep. I don't see any new potatoes coming up, and that's fine. But it was an experiment. But I guarantee you, I bet you something come up next year. Let's see. Got the eggplants hanging out here. Still got to pick these off. Oh, man. It's hard to pick these. I don't want to break the branch. I said I have my scissors. Oh. Whew, dropped it. Get these off of here. It's kind of twist, though. Gonna give them a twist. And it should snap off. There it goes. So two more eggplants. And let's see. I know there's a bunch of cucumbers tonight on this ground. I do not feel like going in here to get them. So yeah, anyway, y'all, what I was telling y'all before, this is a mistake. <laughs> Don't do this. I mean, it looks it looks big and it's lush and everything, but the problem is when it's, um, when you have vine, plants that are vining, you do not wanna put them next to each other like this. It's too close. And so it's kind of like drowning out the, the watermelon plants. Look at these cucumbers, they're like everywhere. And they just got big and fat. This just shows you how long I haven't been out here. And uh, these are pickling, man. They're huge. And there's a watermelon right there. Let's see. I don't think it's near ready yet. So I'm just trying to walk through the garden. Other, other, other night, <laughs> we tried to film it. There was a skunk in the garden. Actually, where I'm standing at. <laughs> now, how did the skunk get back in my backyard? I don't know. But he was in here. <laughs> I think he was trying to eat my tomatoes or something. I, in, another, in one of the other videos, I said there was something eating on my tomatoes. That's a big old cucumber. Look at that bad boy. It's huge. But, um... And all these are pickling cucumbers, by the way. Supposed to be pickling. But actually, they're good, you know. Even at the size they are. When you get them that big. There's another one right here. So, I don't want to make this too long, but um, I just want to show y'all the garden. To show you what we're doing still. That everything is still growing. Oh. I can walk back to the other side and show you the grape. The grapes are, are turning purple on the grapevine. And it actually tastes pretty good. Some of them are nice and sweet. Look at these tomatoes off of here. We had another rainstorm the other day and I knew they were gonna split, but I was at work, so I had nothing I can do about it. Okay. All right, there's a belt, there's a, um, 
banana peppers. And this plant is full of them. Full of banana peppers. So let's get a few of these out of here. So we like the banana peppers because uh, the banana peppers make a, uh, you ever put it in your chicken, you know, you ever make a baked chicken and you put some, uh, you season your chicken and put some banana pepper on there. It actually makes it taste really good. It's got a good flavor. All right, there's a red jalapeno. I'm gonna grab him off of here. He probably been sitting on here too long. Nice and bright and red. Wow, I got tomatoes back there on the ground. I made an extra hand to get all this up. Yep, something eating off of that one. And look at that. Probably was eating on this tomato right here too. Maybe it could have been that skunk. Oh, more tomatoes back here. Okay. Right. So anyway, let me show y'all the grapes real quick and then I'll show y'all the results at the end of this, okay? As y'all can see now, the grapes are starting to turn purple. Yep. So they're all getting purple now. We were wondering how long was it gonna take. <laughs> but they're looking nice. Yeah. Taste that one. Mm. Yep, that was sweet. All right, y'all. So, I'm just showing y'all all the grapes now. They turn to purple. And I'll show y'all the results at the end. Stay tuned. So, um, this is some of what we got right here. We got all these cucumbers. And some, uh, got some banana peppers, some eggplants. Got my shoe up there. Then all of a sudden, over here, she picked all these herbs. Uh, this is what? Parsley. Parsley. Um, uh, lavender. Lavender. Uh, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. Well, yeah, lavender, eucalyptus, uh, yes, oregano, so. thyme, mint. What's this one? Basil. 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 Oregano and oregano, yep, and some uh, rosemary. Yeah. And then we picked some more tomatoes, eggplants, peppers. This guy should have picked another. You don't need no more right now, do you? Yeah. Yeah. Wait. I mean, if you don't need it right now, you don't have to. Anyway, so y'all, this is gonna pretty much be the end of the video. I just showed y'all because we actually came back here just to grab a few things, so I decided just to make a video real quick. And um. I think that's it. So don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe. And you know, we we'll catch y'all on the next one. Uh, we should be doing a, a, a fishing video. And maybe I, I got some more gold panning videos to do. Oh man, I found some good spots, y'all. So we got a video coming up that's showing you uh, where I found some good spots that to, uh, to prospect next time around to run my sluice. So I'm hoping to have some good ones on that as well. Anyway. Thank y'all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.